What's up guys, as you can see we're back in the garage today, we're coming at you with another video of working on the Subaru. Uh, today what we're going to be doing is pretty simple but it applies to all cars, everybody needs to do this for their car. I'm going to show you how to change the oil on my Subaru, it's the same process for changing the oil on pretty much all other cars. But before we get into that I wanted to show you guys my roommate Jackson's bikes because you finally brought them both back up here, so let's check these bad boys out. Right here we have a... 2018 Honda Grom. He got this thing brand new. And he paid cash for it too. And it still even got the dealer plate on it and everything. He just uses this bad boy to pop up some wheelies, you know, practice all of his stunting tricks. It's got a little exhaust on it. Sounds real nice. I'll do a full walk around of the bikes one day and, and tell you all the parts that he has on them. I just really don't know too much. And then this is his R6. As you can see, it's got a little bit of a cage on it and stuff. He's done some other modifications to it too. I, I really don't know too much about it, like I said, but I'll definitely do a full walkthrough one day with him. And we're definitely gonna make some cool content with these bikes. I wanna learn how to ride them. I wanna learn how to wheelie, so I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, let's get into today's video. I gotta go down to O'Reilly's and buy everything I need to do the oil change. I gotta get a pan, I gotta get the oil, I gotta get a filter. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all I need, so let's get into it. So I just left O'Reilly's, just wanted to show you guys all the stuff that I got to do my oil change. Here we got the Mobile One. I like Mobile One a lot, it's my favorite brand of oil to go with. And you know, you always want to get Mobile One filter if you're going to go with Mobile One oil, it just helps it work the best. And then I got myself a five gallon drain pan, I just got the cheap one, I don't need nothing with the lid that doesn't spill. It's just for, you know quick little oil change I'll probably get a better one eventually like once I really start to set up my whole garage but for now it should do the job so we're back in the garage guys and the first step that you're gonna to want to do in changing your oil on any car is you're gonna to want to jack up the car so you can get under it and drain out the old oil from the oil pan so I was trying to jack up my car but I have two jacks and as you can see this big jack is not gonna get under there at all so what I usually do is I use this small jack and I lift up this side of the car a little bit until I can fit the big jack under the, you know, the front jacking point. But as you can see, this bad boy won't even go under the side skirt now because I've lowered the car. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to pull the wheel up on this wooden plank to get it just a little bit higher, you know, so I can get that jack under there. After that, we should be good to go. We should be able to lift up the car, drain out this oil, and bang out this oil change real quick. All right, so I just pulled my car up on the wooden board. Let me show you guys. It's just a little bit higher, and it gave us just the right amount of room to get under that side skirt and get that jack right where it needs to be to jack up the frame. So now we got the side of the car jacked up and as you can see we have just enough room to get this big boy jack under there. See right there that thing with like the four little squares on it right right above right there. So basically that is what you're going to want to jack it up from that's the front jacking point for Subaru WRX. Other cars are going to have different you know jacking points and different ways of jacking them up but basically what you're gonna want to do for this car is just slide that jack right under there and it'll jack up both sides of the car evenly you'll be able to get right under with your oil pan train your oil and make it nice and easy for you so now we got the car all jacked up let me show you guys once again all the tools we're going to be using. This is our drain pan, and then this is the oil we're going with, Mobile One 5W20. It is full synthetic. You don't have to do full synthetic. I just like to do it. I'm also going with a Mobile One filter, and then we have our ratchet set so we can take off the drain pan bolt. And we also have a funnel. Funnels make it a lot easier, you know, when refilling the car. It's always 
it's so annoying trying to pour that oil in without a funnel. You get it all over the place. So I definitely recommend getting a funnel. Next step, we're gonna put the oil pan under the car and uh, take off the drain bolt and just drain that oil out and let that sit for a while, let everything drain. We're also gonna take off the filter and let that drain into the pan as well. All right guys, so we're under the car. We got the pan, we got it all jacked up. I just wanted to show you guys what you're actually gonna be taking off to drain the oil. This right here, this is my oil pan. So you're gonna wanna take off the bolt on the oil pan. It's called your drain bolt. That's right there. And then you're also gonna wanna take off your filter, which is right there. Let all the oil drain out, and that's where you're gonna be putting a new filter. And then once the oil is all drained out, you wanna give it about 20, 30 minutes. Just really let it all get out of there. And then you're gonna recap that with that bolt. And then you're gonna go to the top and fill her back up. So let me... trying to get my filter off by hand and that thing was just so stuck I couldn't get it off at all so I have one of these now this tool basically what it is is it's like a big ratchet shaped to the shape of your oil filter so you pop this thing on the oil filter and then you just crank it off really useful tool to have because most of the time this is the hardest part of an oil change is getting that stupid filter to come off they're always slippery from oil being all over it and it just it's really hard to get them off by hand anyone who gets them off by hand usually is lucky so i'd recommend getting one of these for your size uh filter just remember every filter diameter is going to be different so there's a bunch of different sizes of these and the filter that you're taking off like if it's a stock oem filter might not be the same size as the new you know mobile filter you want to put on i've been running mobile filters on here for quite a while now so i know this bad boy is going to fit I'm gonna use this, get that sucker off. I totally forgot that I had this. I've been fighting that filter for like 20 minutes now. So now I'm gonna get that off, put the new one on, put that oil plug back in, and then I'll be back with you guys to show you how to pour the oil in. So real quick, before you put in the new filter, I always like to take a little dab of some oil, get it on your finger, and then just smear it around on the seal so the seal's not dry. So that way when the seal goes in there, it's, it's also lubricated. All right, so we're done with the bottom of the car. We put the drain bolt back in, and we also put the new filter back on. Now we're back at the top end of the car. All we gotta do now is pour in the new oil into the motor. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna have to find your oil, where, where you put your oil into the motor. Some cars, it will be on the valve covers. Other places, you know, other cars, like a Subaru, it will just have a, a oil filler neck off to the side, that's what that's called. And you just open that bad boy up. Can't wait to get this done, bro. Hit the road to SD. If you guys don't know, I'm about to be taking a trip to SD this weekend, actually. So that's why I'm, I'm changing the oil on the car. It's always good to change the oil if you're going on like, kind of like a longer drive. Now I haven't changed it in about 3,000 miles, which is when you want to change your oil. Super pumped to get down there with my boys and definitely gonna get a lot of cinematic shots, you know, within the next few weeks from down there. So next, once you find your oil filler neck, put in the funnel. So it's basically this, oh, Jackson's pulling up right now. Get this one pulling up. Sounds great. Ah, uh, dang. Good, What's up, man? Good blooper reel. Fucked up your... You heard it coming, huh? Yeah. I'm with my roommates in the garage right now. I got Jackson right here. This is my boy. You know, he just saw him pull up on the R6. And then my boy, Kid. But we're, just, we're gonna play a quick little game, take a little break from this oil change. And just, we're gonna see. Yeah, bro, Cause I Kid know. doesn't know anything. I know everything. I drive an Evo. He does not yeah, drive Adam an Evo. Adam LZ's my fucking best homie, bro. We go <laughs> way back. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna see 
what this fool knows in the engine bay. We're gonna see if he knows Push what anything is. Forward. We'll play a little yeah. game real quick. Hey, explain this. Okay. Explain what we got going on in here. What is this? All right. What is what, what is that? What is that? This is a GFB response. Uh, you know that basically just gets your fans in here moving faster. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? this uh, what do we got going on here? Intake manifold. Uh, oh, he wasn't too far off on that one. Wait, that was right? Oh, okay. It's a cold air intake. The okay. intake manifold's right here, buddy. Intake manifold's right no, here. I just always say that shit. So this I is just, the manifold. This whole metal thing. Okay. You just wanted to say manifold, huh? Intake was right. I did okay. that. Intake. Your cool intake. And What's that, this? That cool Come on, I know you know what uh, this is. Radiator? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ding, 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 ding. We got one. We got one. Uh, Woo! I know that shit. I know Ten that shit. Ten points. Ten oh, points. Okay, let's Pretty. go easy. Pretty. Okay. What is this? There you go. Fucking, <laughs> 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 uh... Alright, so we're, we're, we're two for four right now. Okay. You got you got one last chance. Okay. One last chance for redemption. Okay. Can't, like, what is this this big boy? With my hands on oh, right here. What's that? The, uh, the oh. intake. No. No. <laughs> now the last step is to find your dipstick. Mine's right here. You just pull that out and check on it and make sure that your oil is sitting at a sufficient level near the full sign. And you should be good to go. Alright guys, so we got the oil change all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's weekly video. I hope you enjoyed the kind of little nonsense game we play with Kip. Hope you guys have been enjoying the channel so far. Please subscribe for more videos like this. You know, like this video, it really helps me out a lot. And leave some comments for me. Let me know what you guys want to see me do. I want to see what you guys want to see next. You know, I'm really excited to get this channel going and to keep it going. So always remember what your mind can conceive and believe you can achieve. Peace out.